Hello guys, welcome back to Adventures of Well and Me. Uh, we're going to be continuing our Game of Day series. Uh, I didn't upload for three days uh, just because I was doing some training for some online content delivery as a teacher and uh, that's exhausting. It's exhausting. Just the fatigue that you get from sitting in front of a computer. So I have no idea how the uh, Twitch streamers and all that do their really long stints uh, on games and that. But hats off to you guys. You guys uh, would be doing that for quite a long time. Um, I haven't actually picked the game that I'm going to talk about today. Let's just start with the bottom one, which is South Park, the Fractured Butt Hole. Um, well, yeah. This is an interesting game. So, good thing about this was it uh, came with copy of the stick of truth as a digital download on the ps4 as well so when i got given this from my uh sisters in law because you know they thought this summed me up pretty much <laughs> don't know what they were trying to tell me uh but <laughs> um they wanted to give me something stupid and funny like in that aspect and well, it, it was, to be honest. Um, I didn't finish the Fractured Butthole, um, but I finished the Stick of Truth. I played all of that before I started the Fractured Butthole. And I probably will go back and finish this. Um, I think it was just, like, fatigue from playing the series. Because I did, like, one after the other. I did um, Stick of Truth, and then I went straight into playing this. And I needed a break from that kind of gameplay, because I spent a lot of time playing... Um, playing a stick of truth and essentially you get the typical uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone inappropriate comedy uh, which I'm not used to a lot as well because I never really watched South Park uh, growing up and never really got into it only know little bits and pieces about it and mainly kind of what I've heard through online things but I mean they took like a turn-paced RPG format and made a South Park game out of it and it just feels like from my understanding from what I've heard with other people and kind of my own experience it feels like it's just like another couple episodes of South Park but you're just playing it it becomes interactive um yeah they're, they're fun games um the first one was like a DD and d style game um in terms of like the story they had their little role playing uh, for like fantasy that they're going through, and then like literally the start of this game. Spoilers alert! Um, you you kind of go into to play, and it's all set up as though it's still like the Dungeons and Dragons and fantasy role playing situation. And some some of the main characters were like, "Yeah, no, that was last week. This week we're now playing this," and like it just moves straight on from like kind of like how kids like with their attention spans and they move from one game to the next and it was so funny just you start the game it starts similar and then it's like well no actually we're playing a uh a superhero game now because that's the most popular thing in uh cinema at the moment uh it kind of just flows like that and I, I loved that kind of stupidity behind it um yeah and there's so much inappropriate content in there as well in terms of the what they talk about and what they say and what's acted out and things like that but at the same time like it was fun like I enjoyed it for the RPG aspect some of the jokes in there I thought went a bit too far um were a little bit inappropriate or unnecessary um and I guess in that case I kind of just you know you overlook it if you're still wanting to play it I liked it for like just genuinely the the gameplay itself I thought that was pretty decent um but yeah, if you if you're not into the crude humor and all that, definitely don't go for this game because it practically has everything in the ratings that suggest that you won't like this game. So take that into consideration. But if you really like South Park and you like that kind of crude humor aspect in your games, and you like kind of like a turn-based RPG style. Uh, 
game and you like the animation style, it, it, it's animated like just like a South Park episode. So if you like uh, all of those aspects, then you will love this game. It is, um, it really was an interesting uh, experience. Um, I just need to finish off the cu last couple of missions like for the main story and I'll be done. So I need to reinstall it and go from there. But definitely a good game for uh, the experience compared to uh, previous South Park games and they've had like really low reception and all that and this is highly praised so there's that to consider as well. It, it really did um, meet uh, the expectations of the audience, the proposed audience and uh, lived up to what it was promising so yeah I enjoyed it. I don't recommend it to a lot of people just because I'm not a massive fan of the crude humour. Play it if you can get past that but my overall recommendation is if you like the franchise get it. If you don't like crude humour, you don't like uh, just inappropriate content in general, don't get it. You're not going to enjoy it, you're not going to have fun with it, even if you do like the gameplay. Uh, some of it I did struggle a little bit through just because it's generally not my humour, but I stuck through most of it, um, now I've just got to finish it off, but yeah, that's my recommendation there. Uh, hope you uh, had a good day, had a good week, everyone's staying safe and all that with everything going on at the moment, and yeah, just do your best to stay hygienic and healthy and keeping distance from people, just so we can stop the spread of anything going on. But yeah, have a good one guys, and... I will catch you next time.